Hey guys, welcome to Windshine Audio. If you are new to the channel, let me first introduce myself. I'm Alvin, owner of the company based in Singapore. An unboxing video for you guys today from LHY Audio, a master clock generator, model number OCK2. We released the OCK1 a couple of months ago. It is a master clock generator that outputs 10 megahertz square wave and sine wave uh, connection at the back where you may connect this 10 megahertz master clock generator output to the device that supports 10 megahertz input. So this OCK one was a pretty successful one where we sold quite a few of them and this OCK one outputs is limited to, let me see, two square wave and oh no sorry two side wave and one square wave and the output impedance of this guy has to be set and configure x factory so user cannot change the output impedance of the OCK one and we receive quite a lot of comment on this and customization requirement on the output impedance of the master clock so there are two popular impedance of master clock available on the market 50 ohms, 75 ohms. So it really depends on the device that you are using, whether it is a 50 ohms or 75 ohms one, and whether it is a square wave or sine wave 10 megahertz input. So OCK one is pretty popular, but we do receive quite a few requests of customization requirement for the impedance, as well as the waveform output. Here we are. This is the whole reason why we come up with this OCK2. OCK2 is higher build quality. It comes with more outputs and the output impedance is user configurable internally. Without further ado, let me unbox this OCK2 and I'll show you guys how to do it. So it's a pretty long unboxing video come product introduction. So please bear with me. Again, this is the first time we received this unit from LHY Audio, a subsidiary brand of JS Audio, where they manufacture and build high quality CD transport based on CDM4 as well as CD Pro 2. So this is what you will expect in the box. Form cover, take form around the unit to protect the unit from its journey to you. And this nice gesture of BNC cable. I'm not sure whether we should include this in the in the package. Um, I think we should. We do get quite a few requests whether we sell this BNC cable. Yes, uh, we are going to sell this. And uh, if you buy the OCK2 or OCK1 from us, you may choose the option of having the cable included. A power cut. Uh, this is a UK power cut for us to use in Singapore or in the UK. If you are in the US or Europe, we will ship the correct power cord to you. And here we are, this is the unit itself. I'll just pull it out from the box. It's covered with plastic bag. I'll just put, put the cable back into the box. Okay, I will not be using anymore. Right, let me just put the unit on the table and this will be on the floor. Oops. Okay, it's covered with plastic. And let me just peel off the plastic and take the unit out from the plastic bag. I'm just going to do it like that. Right. If you notice, this chassis is of the same high quality built as the switch, the LHY SW8. It's milled out of a full aluminum block or you can call it an aluminum brick where this is really solid. Let me just knock on it so they can have a feel of how substantial it is. No sound. Because it is a full aluminum brick and CNC mill. Right, at the back of the unit, you'll find IEC inlet for the power socket connection, a fuse holder. I believe this is a one end fuse, but I will check. A power switch for you to turn on this guy. There are six outputs. Three of them are square wave. Another three of them are sine wave. So this guy comes with double of the output compared to the OCK2. 
sorry, OCK1. So this is the OCK1, it comes with three outputs, whereas for the OCK2, it comes with six outputs in sine wave and square wave. <coughs> sorry for my throat, I just recovered from COVID. I'm still having this persistent cough now and then. <coughs> for real. Right. Um, the output impedance of the OCK2 is configurable. So if you allow me to unscrew this guy, I'll show you what is inside this OCK2 and you will see how to adjust the output impedance. I have all my tools on my table, so I hope I have the right tool to remove this screw. No, nope, it's not the right tool. I have a whole set of Allen key here. One of them should be the correct one. Right, a 2mm one. Okay, remove the six screw at the bottom using a 2mm Allen key. Let me see, is it a 2mm one? No, I can't see. Let me just read this. Yes, it's a 2mm Allen key. So use a 2mm Allen key to loosen the six screw and you will be able to assess what is inside. So let me just show you the build quality of this OCK2 and you'll be surprised that LHY Audio is serious about their products just like the Jace Audio CD Transport and their DAC <coughs> They are one of my favorite manufacturers I know them since 2012 I think This is the bottom plate <coughs> Excuse me Right this is the OCK2. The whole unit, the chassis wise, is made out of a full aluminum brick. And this is the power supply con compartment. Let me just have a pointer. The power supply compartment where it comes with AC filter, um, UK made Talema transformer is encapsulated, socket diode and the reservoir caps for power filtering. The DC will be further regulated by all, a bunch of um, precision LDO linear regulator and this capacitor here are from Rubicon, a company that manufactures high quality capacitor and these are the LDO linear regulator that supply different voltages for this master clock generator and this encapsulated crystal here is the OCXO, Oven Control Crystal Oscillator, where the temperature of this guy is at constant temperature. It is like an, an, an oven. So the temperature of this crystal oscillator is constant so that the output frequency of this crystal oscillator remains pretty constant and pretty stable throughout the operation. It takes about 30 minutes to warm up. So after warming up, this guy just walked like a charm. You notice there are different circuitry here. There are dip switch here allows you to configure the output impedance of this master clock generator. So you may, you may change the dip switch here accordingly to change the output impedance to 50 ohms or 75 ohms. Let me just have a quick look. Right, 50 ohms or 75 ohms. This allows you to change the output frequency of the, no, output impedance of the master clock output of this OCK2. So it's a pretty nice touch that LHY Audio comes out with this OCK2 where it allows you to have more outputs just in case you want to connect this OCK2 to multiple equipment that you have that allows 10 MHz input and as well as the output impedance uh, configuration that you may do it yourself. Right, I believe the, OC the OCXO in this OCK2 is also of higher quality. We will publish the phase noise um, measurement of this crystal oscillator so that you guys know the quality of this OCXO is of high quality and I think that's about it. It's a pretty high quality OCK or I should say master clock generator from LHY Audio. So in case you are new to this clock connection thing, so you may want to check with your equipment whether it comes with the correct frequency input which is 10 megahertz, whether it is a sine wave, whether it is a square wave or whether the input impedance is 50 ohms or 75 ohms but fret not OCK2 have pretty much all the cases covered and this is a good master clock for everyone 
Right, that's about it. I hope you enjoyed this uh, brief introduction as well as unboxing video. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.